favorite time, time, come on. I try to make that work, it didn't work. Oh God. Oh, favorites is in a bag. Hey guys, oh, welcome back for another video. And today, yes, your girl got her February favorites. Yes, Black History Month. We have some favorites. We got some non-favorites. We're going to talk about some stuff today because we just talking about some favorites. We talk about some non-favorites that, you know, we got to voice our opinion because short at 40. When you turn, I don't know, something happened. Jada Pickett Smith says something happened when you turn 40. I can feel it bubbling on the inside. So, if you're interested in my February favorites, favorites then keep watching don't forget to hit the subscribe button i'm just saying before we go any further can you do that please and it's gonna let you know when your girl has another video so it's gonna go ding dong not ding dong the witch is dead okay like no things on the witches y'all remember that <laughs> okay anyway that Wizard of Oz is one of my favorite, okay? But we're going to talk about some black-owned businesses. What? Because it's February. And, y'all, I support them anyway. So it's not like, oh, don't come for me saying <laughs> the, the only time she want to talk about black oh, businesses, black-owned businesses, is that uh, it's February. No, sis, if you know my channel. Yes, I talk about them all the time. But we're going to give them some extra shine. And especially some that beauty gurus really don't talk about. We're going to talk about some of those too. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Let's talk about Harry. Let's talk about hair, baby. Now, I talked about this before, but we're going to talk about it again. Yes, this is the Garnier Fruit Tea Smooth Treat One Minute Hair Mask with Avocado Extract. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -mm. this is so good okay the reason why I had to talk about it real quick is because if I don't it's not gonna last to March okay and I, I'm not gonna be able to talk about it anymore but this is so good it is 98% like naturally derived okay Garnier came with a vegan product get excited about that because y'all know some of these store these uh drugstore type of products don't is not like natural but this is so good and not only that it's a one minute mask mm. if you ain't got time ain't nobody got time for that mm. you can snatch your ends yes because this is a great great deep conditioner the detanglage on this is crazy and you can just scrub a dub you can get everything off your face mask you can do your charcoal mask microdermabrasion you can cleanse your face you can take off your makeup you can scrub your body and then boom you're done with your deep conditioner i love this because it's one um marguerite my girl here on <laughs> yes your favorite yes um kiko beauty talked about loving flash mask and i was like girl mm -mm, i love deep conditioner i love deep conditioning y'all but sometimes i really don't have time okay but i don't want my hair to pay for it you know what i'm saying i talked about this too long it's good next product now some of these you are going to see reviews on it i am coming with a full like collection of what i have in terms of main choice main choice has become like one of those new loves for me this is the pink lemonade and coconut five minute reviving mask this is a great like repairing mask if you don't have time we talk about flash mask in here and maybe i'll come with a video comment down below let me know if you want like those quick in a hurry types of protein treatments and those flash masks that i really love for my high porosity hair let me know and i'll do it for you i'm just saying but i absolutely love this detanglage on there is, is really well i would go in with this first and i use this on my ends and then i go in with a moisturizing deep conditioner so i would use these i just don't use this by itself because this is repairing the hair is going to strengthen the hair and i don't want to leave it brittle uh, my hair is already dry you know we don't need my hair to be thirsty okay my hair is not thirsty you know my hair is not a thought ha <laughs> yes um but we go into with the deep conditioner so i really do enjoy both of those but that main choice got me yeah you got me girl <sighs> let's talk about another one y'all gonna see these in my hair talks my hair talk reviews um uh, missy palo talking about these okay this is the head and shoulders co-wash moisture care and y'all we're gonna talk about some stuff about this because there's some things that i don't like about this but for the majority of the of the time 
I like this. It is so good. Great detangler. Um, it's great if you have dry, itchy hair, if you're dealing with itchiness, if you're dealing with psoriasis, if you're dealing with those like, you know, itchy scalp, redness, inflammation stuff. This is a great product and it doesn't cost a lot, but beware, it does have silicones. I'm just saying. I am going to talk about some fails too, but let's talk about one more hair product. Y'all, I was killing it in February, okay? I was here for the culture. And this is the Long and Lux Grow Wash by As I Am. This is their cream cleansing conditioner. This is so good. I am coming with a full review. If I haven't shown the review, I probably should have already. This is not, this shouldn't be a spoiler. But if it is, y'all just check out the review because I'm going to talk about it in depth of as to why I love this so much. Passion fruit and pomegranates is the scent in this. As I am, you did that. Cleansing conditioner co-wash. Yes, I just gave y'all two co-washes and two deep conditioners. Do you need any more? Okay, this is something that people aren't talking about and this is a brand that a lot of people don't talk about But I got introduced from Ipsy from this brand and that's why I love it so much It is the Visanti brighten up enzymatic face rejuvenator. This is an exfoliating cleanser It has it's both enzymatic and it also is a physical exfoliator this is so good. Y'all, this is over half gone, okay? Once I picked this up, I was like, let me see what this is all about. Great. My skin feels smooth. It brightens the skin. If you have dark spots, you not only need to treat the dark spots, but you need to do some exfoliation so you get rid of the dead skin cells in turn fading the dark spots, okay? There's a process to it. Somebody say process. Yes, there's a process and I really do enjoy this product. Vasanti, they have great brushes. Um, I've tried some other things from Vasanti and I really like this line. I want to say it is a, I don't want to, I don't know what kind of brand this is. I want to say the background of this brand is, it's from Canada. It's a Canada cosmetic brand. So I really do enjoy this. I want to try some more stuff from them. This is the Derma E Advanced Peptides and collagen serum. I talked about this in a skincare haul, like, oh, my favorite Derma E products and um, and some new ones that I was trying was I was trying this, y'all, and this is like almost halfway gone. This is so good. This is a serum that's going to plump the skin. If you have fine lines and wrinkles, this is from their Skin Restore line. Y'all, this is good. This is good. This is this is high. This is drugstore that actually works like a high-end product. And I also have the the moisturizer if I can find it it's trying to hide for me these two together so good I put an oil with this and my skin wakes up and it's like what it feels so good if I highly recommend this line the skin restore and I would repurchase this with my own money they sent this to me but girl Dumber E you doing the thing over there I have one body care product and then we will get into the makeup y'all righteous butter from soap and glory that uh, this is a YouTube like staple. Y'all, this is like holy grail status, okay? Oh smells so good. And it makes your hair, it makes your hair, it makes your body smell like butter. And ooh, you just this is the month of love, okay? I put this on and mm, that's all I got to say. Next. Okay, let's talk about skincare product. I call it a skincare product, but I guess, yeah, it is a skincare product because this is Danessa Myricks Prism FX Hydrating Lotion. If you don't know who Danessa Myricks is, she is a, who she is on fire, okay? She is a African-American makeup artist, professional makeup artist, and she has our own makeup line. This is so good, y'all. I have it under my foundation today. It gives that opulence. This is basically max strobe cream but better that's what that is it gives an opalescence to the skin oh my goodness and y'all it's a hydrating lotion so if you have dry skin oh i did it for the culture but my skin loved it too amen saints it is so beautiful it's beautiful even by itself but uh you could take this and put a little bit of foundation mix it and make your own like little tinted moisturizer and it is the most gorgeous finish ever ever okay that's all i gotta say about that okay i'm gonna talk about one more product and then we are going to get into 
I'm gonna talk about two more products and then we're gonna get into the ipsy like my favorites and hates of that okay this was from last month y'all this is the violet boss hg fun size I have still been using this and this is I've been using this and the modern renaissance palette love them but this is like the baby modern renaissance I'm gonna come with a video of some dupes y'all that are lower and I feel like are better than the high brand the higher brand okay hallelujah but this is such a good palette it's 20 bucks and it is quality y'all I'm talking about the blendability of these shadows are uh, bar none um I really like Violet's Voss's formulation a tad bit better than Anastasia just because I feel like Anastasia has quite a bit fallout and Violet Boss got that down and the blendability it don't skip y'all it don't jump it don't hop and you can just blend that thing girl and you look like you just did you were a professional makeup artist I'm just saying so I really like Violet Boss's formulation okay another thing I had to actually put them in here but y'all mm y'all yeah. minted got me twisted okay i love these lip pencils i have decluttered so many lip pencils just because number one um they match the lipstick mm -hmm. that's a check um the other thing is that these are some dark the, these are great for women of color i mean anybody can wear these but y'all know how much women of color have a problem with getting the perfect nude i'm just saying and it being too light around the lips and then you have a dark lipstick i am wearing what am i wearing today pretty in pink the pretty in pink one maybe yeah the pretty in pink one i believe i can't remember but y'all i love these there are nine of them and then they have the matching lipsticks what i have minted number five on my lips i do know that i really love these uh, meant it y'all you got my heart you got my heart let's get into the favorites i mean the ipsy glam bag okay so the it's cosmetics flat kabuki brush i love it got it somewhere i y'all I, I think i dropped it but i'm gonna find that but it cosmetics has great brushes okay so we know about that this is the scott and park i want to say this is the this is the beauty filter cream glow this is the danessa myricks in a jar I prefer the pump it's really good though I feel like it's a great hydrating cream um it's K beauty it has a little sp spoon I'm gonna use it I really like this product okay. let's talk about the one that you could do without okay this is the dream big palette I love the dream big but this palette it looked really nice on camera because y'all complimented me on my makeup when I did the try on but this one I feel like mmm I can do without it's nice okay the the plus about this is that it has a great mirror has some great shades but i still feel like the blendability i would go with the violet boss y'all if i had to choose the violet boss is a 20 dollars palette this is 30 dollars. go with the violet boss i'm just saying i could do without this and actually i would save my money for even the huda beauty that's 27 dollars. okay that one i would get the smoky palette or something like that that's comparable to this but uh, the Dream Big Palette by Tarte, I could do without. This blew me away. And this is the reason why I got to come with a dupes video. is because I feel like that this Mayel Kiss Bronzer, it's a healthy summer radiance all year round. Their, their Sun Kiss Bronzer is a dupe to the Radiance Bronze Light of Hourglass. It is bomb. I like this better because I can dip myself, I can dip into the bronzer part and if I want to give myself a little bit more glow in the highlight or I can mix them all together. The one that is from Hourglass, you have to swirl it all in. So, y'all, that's what makes this ball. The lipstick, not so much. It was I didn't like the colors from Finding Ferdinand and um, it's a red, it's a class of red. I have not tried the formulation so I cannot comment on it. But y'all, Let's talk about some hates, okay? This is from Not Your Mother's. This is the activated bamboo activated charcoal, activated bamboo charcoal and purple moonstone restoring scalp, restore and reclaim scalp scrub. It's a pre-wash exfoliant for your hair. Did not like it. I'm gonna tell you why. These have jojoba beads in it, and usually with a scalp scrub, y'all know I like the Evercurl, the one um, 
from L'Oreal. I love that one. This one, I really like the smell. It was very, it, it, the slip is great, but these jojoba beads do not burst. You know, it's supposed to like burst. It They don't like emulsify in your hair and they get stuck in your hair and it look, makes your hair look dirty. So, um, I am very, I, I wanted to give it a second chance, but I already know what it's going to do again because it's not, it's a, it's a, def, it's a default with the product, a defect with the product. It's not going to, it's going to perform the same. Okay. It, it, it definitely like exfoliates the, the scalp, but the beads, the jojoba beads do not emulsify. They're hard. Uh, they're hard to get out of your hair. And I was still pulling strands. My hair was dry and I still could see jojoba beads. So I'm not putting this back in my hair. You only got one shot. You know, sometimes first impressions are, are definitely impressionable. No, this is not getting a second chance. And for that reason, it is a fail for February. That was sad. So let's talk about Netflix. What? No, you know what? I'm not doing Netflix right now. You know what I'm doing? I'm doing Amazon Prime. I'm doing Prime Video. And I am watching... <laughs> I am watching Downton Abbey for the second time. Okay, I'm on season five for the second time. I just love Downton. I, I am a Jane Austen lover, okay? I love the classics. I like 17th century English, British literature, literature. That's how it, literature. I just love like anything on that, you know, things that have a, a storyline, a good plot. You know, you have to have a good backstory with a person, with a, you know, with a storyline. I need that in my life. So I have been living Downton Abbey, y'all. In terms of books, can I get through an American marriage? Like I, I becoming, I whiz through, but I don't know why American marriage. It's a great book, but it is a slow read for me. It's almost like I'm having to digest this. Um, I think because this man is wrongly accused and he goes to jail. Okay, I want to talk more about books. I think that's going to be on my second channel, though, because or y'all let me know if y'all want me to talk more about book reviews and what I'm reading. Um, I do have a goal of how many books I want to read this year. And y'all, I am behind. So I hope you guys enjoyed this February favorites. Don't forget to comment down below. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Comment down below and let me know what was your love in the Feb in the month of love. Let me know what your love was besides, you know, the love of your life, my husband, my kids. Yes, uh, those are always going to be my favorites. But we were talking about February favorites. So comment down below. Let me know what your favorites were and maybe what was a February fail. Okay, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Bye, ladies.